see I cleaned up the uh, area just a little bit. Uh, got my fire ready to go. Got a little tinder bundle. Process some wood. Uh, the uh, silky, what is it, big boy or whatever. Uh, got the most of the work. Which, um, just gathered whatever was on the ground, broke it up. Uh, Broke most of it, uh, cut a few few of the larger pieces. Got, should have plenty of wood here to get through the night. Um, just wanted to go over what my uh, uh, cook kit is. Um, start with uh, just a little simple uh, little grate from uh, oh, it's Caldner's or whatever. Cheap cheap little camp uh, uh, camp grate. Um, about six inches by 12 inches. Uh, what I do is I grind off, uh, there's a little extra tab on the ed edges here. I grind that off with the grinder and just kind of shape that down so it doesn't poke hole holes in my bags or anything like that. Um, sticks out about a quarter of an inch, I think, on each side. I just grind that off. Uh, that's the only modification I make to that. And when, uh, when it goes bad, I just uh, throw it out and get a new one. Um, so this is my cook kit. Um, that I'm using right now. I'm constantly switching out stuff and um, keep a pair of gloves in here as pot holders uh, inside the gloves. So I keep my knife, fork, and uh, spoon. Uh, so that's that's in there. I try and put put one in each finger there so it doesn't rattle around too much. Um, so yeah, they're mainly for pot holders, not terribly much of a need for um, for gloves down here in uh, Texas. It's warm most of the year around, um, so don't don't need them, but they're there just in case also. Um, have a little uh, windscreen. Uh, this is a, I think it's a solo stove. Um, either that or, um, I don't think, I thought it was solo stove. May not be. Um, I can't quite quite remember, but that works pretty well. Um, take everything out here and show you what's in here. I'm not an expert at making videos either, so excuse me if I have too many ums and ahs and whatever uh, you'll just have to deal with that uh, keep a little piece of leather in here in case I want to uh, put it down process some some food or whatever it's just a little, uh, little um, have a little titanium plate I forget who makes it uh, snow peak maybe um, keep a bandana in here um, this is brand new, uh, just got this not too long ago, has not been used yet. Uh, this is uh, Oli Camp. Um, it comes with a, uh, uh, there's a whole cook set, a uh, couple pots, whatever. I just took the little fry pan for that. I'm going to give that a shot. Uh, we'll be cooking breakfast in that uh, uh, tomorrow morning, so we'll give that a shot. I was using a titanium. Uh, uh, fry pan and ever new uh, just burns too easily um, I also have another stainless steel one uh, that is a uh, Primus I believe and that one uh, uh, that one's very good uh, there the, that came in a set as well I use the cover in that as well a little bit bigger so um, uh, I went with the small one I want to try that out try this out and see how it works um, this is my stove in case I'm in an area where I just want to do a stove or I want to boil water real quick. Uh, um, this is an Emberlit. Um, this is the titanium one, so it's a little bit lighter. Uh, my pack is heavy enough, so um, it's just kind of all kind of slides together here. Uh, neat little system. Nice and lightweight. I think it's. Uh, I want to. I can't remember exactly. Five ounces or half. 
half a pound, something like that. Um, and this all has little tabs that index in. And then you put the front piece on, which has the door. Cross pieces and that hold your pot. And that's it. And you put it there, you got your um, windscreen if you need it. Put your tinder in there, light your fire, boom, you're done. Nice, folds up flat. I really like that. I think that's a nice piece of kit. I apologize again, uh, I don't really, I'm not a uh, video expert here, so excuse me if I'm not looking at the camera enough. And then the uh, solo stove, uh, this is the, whatever it is, 1800 or whatever. Um, lid uh, handles, bail wire, which is real nice if you're um, cooking over the open fire. Uh, put it on the, the grate like I have it. A little bit of salt and pepper in here. Um, I pack a lot of stuff into this. Uh, there's a lot of room here, so um, plenty of room. i uh, got a fire starter. Uh, this is the, I don't know, cheapo one, I forget. Uh, picked it up at Walmart. Uh, another fire starter. Can opener. Uh, light my fire. Uh, grandpa's fork or whatever. You just get a stick and you stick it on the end and And then that's it, and you can cook over your uh, fire. So keep that in there. And, and I pack a lot of stuff in here. Uh, little MSR uh, uh, brush for cleaning and scraping the stuff off. Uh, I keep some fat wood in here. And there's plenty in there to get some fire going. Uh, also have a little bit of uh, uh, these are pieces from a, it's called a dynamite stick. I don't know, my wife bought this for me uh, from Plow and Hearth uh, for our fireplace at home. I break a little bit off of that and I keep it in a little bag, keep it in there. Uh, in the bottom of the pot, I keep a uh, little titanium bowl. Um, this is, again, uh, Snow Peak. Um, so that fits real nice right down in the bottom of there um, and then inside that well, I keep a uh, got another little fork and spoon here uh, and this is uh, the Tokes Titanium 850 um, cover, uh, just little handles. Um, have another one with the bale wire, um, but uh, I just brought this one along so that goes up there nice. In here I have a little sponge with scouring pad and uh, that's got some soap in it as well for cleanup. Uh, my little hot lips in case I want to drink right from that. Um, I'll grab a couple other pieces of kit here in just a second. Um, inside Tokes. This is for coffee. Grab the rest of the kit here so I have some uh, sugar and creamer. Uh, and two things of coffee as the filter, and this is the drip. I can grab my water bottle. Hopefully, I can get that out of the bag real quick because it's a tight fit in there. Forty 
ounce clean canteen. And, in, and that nests inside the GSI drop, Java drip. Now, I had to make a slight modification to this in order to get the clean canteen to nest inside there. What I had to do is, uh, first thing I did is I wrapped some blue painter's tape around the clean canteen. I left about an inch space. Um, I ended up doing about five layers of, uh, of uh, the blue painter's tape. Again, leaving an inch space this way, uh, that's to prevent a vacuum seal from forming, and I'll explain that um, as I go along here. So what I had to do in order to get the cup here to nest nicely with the clean canteen and slide in and out real nice, it was just too tight of a fit. When I originally got it, it would stop about right about here. Um, I do have another um, stainless steel, uh, one from from Sports Authority, uh, which does fit right in it without any modifications to the cup. So what I did with the cup is I took um, I took the painter's tape and I put the painter's tape. I got gunk in the bottom here. I took put painter's tape around here, leaving about an inch space. Then what I did is I took a heat gun and I directed the heat gun into the um, into the cup here. To soften it up so that it so it made it pliable, and then what I did is I took the clean clean canteen with the tape on it, and and you had to do I I had to do it um, a couple of times. I would put a layer of tape in, heat it up, and then I would I would push it down, twist it a little bit, and then pull it out and let it uh, let it cool down. And again, um, if you heat it up and you put that painter's tape all the way around, what's going to happen is you're going to you're going to create a vacuum down here and then when it cools down you won't be able to get that out so if you do that make sure you leave a space with the painter's tape um, again i put put around one heat it up put it in twisted it around made sure i kept it kept it moving and then and then let it cool okay take it out put another layer of tape do that i ended up about five layers of of blue painter's tape to get that to fit on nicely and now it just slides in and out real nice and easy so that's that um, down in the bottom a little cozy here is the top for this so this goes back in here and, and again this is the GSI Java drip and that the, the, the top just fits right in there system comes with its own little filter just put the filter right in there put your put your coffee in boil some water dump the water in and you have a nice and just a minute or so water will drip right through right into the cup and you have a nice uh, nice big cup of coffee I like uh, I like a big cup of coffee I usually eat, uh, about 24 ounces of, uh, of uh, coffee pretty big coffee drinker so that's pretty much my uh, my cook kit here um, not too much else to it again I change out a couple pieces as I said I'm trying out the fry pan we'll see how this works it's a little bit on the small side so um, I'll be cooking some eggs and bacon and stuff so um, we'll, we'll have to do that in stages or we'll have to cook the bacon over the fire um, and then just do the uh, pan um, so that's that later on today will be uh, or tonight this evening I figure for a snack what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try for the first time is I ha is uh, um, doing a little popcorn in the solo stove um, brought along with me some um, uh, coconut oil uh, which is um, pretty much solid at at, uh, at room temperature we'll put some 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 down in here put a couple kernels in there wait for that to pop dump the rest of the kernels in there and hopefully get a nice uh nice uh nice bit of popcorn for me tonight for my snack and that is the cook kit um, water is 
just switched over to this. I was using a um, uh, Catadyne um, uh, Vario. Um, now I switched over uh, to the Platypus Gravity here. Um, so it's a nice little system. What I did with this is I added on uh, a Sawyer Mini onto here to hopefully increase the um, the filter life for the uh, Platypus one. I forget what it was. Uh, wasn't a whole lot in there, so I have the Sawyer on there. I could switch it out, eliminate this. The Sawyer's got a much uh, much longer um, um, uh, life to it, um, so I can I can modify this and I can take out the, the platypus one. Uh, pretty simple system. The, this just connects right onto the bag that you fill with your dirty water, and the clean water is the one that says clean on it. You just screw this on down here. And this just opens up. It's a big Ziploc bag. You just open it up, you fill it up, hang that up in a tree somewhere, you keep this lower, uh, loop the, the feed so that when it drips, if anything drips off of the... I can't get this. Need, need three hands. What you want to do is try and loop that a little piece of power cord or whatever, stick it around a branch or whatever. Uh, that way, this is lower down here. Keep the loop lower than the clean bag. Hopefully, I'm still in frame here. I don't know if I'm still in frame. Uh, here, this on here. Dirty bag goes way up high. This loops. And gravity just works its way. This way you loop it so that if any dirty water drips down your tubes, it drips down and drips off the bottom of the loop here and doesn't come into the bag or, or contaminate your clean, clean bag. So. That's that system. Uh, works pretty good. Uh, the the uh, Sawyer filter in there does slow down the feed rate just a little bit. Um, hope I got that in uh, in frame. I'll probably do another video on that uh, at some point, uh, either later today, next time, whatever. Um, but neat little system. Again, when when your clean clean bag is down there, you want to loop this uh, loop this around. Before it drips down, so that if dirty water comes, it will it will drip down here and will drip off there and won't get anywhere near your near your clean bag. Um, so that's that system. Again, the Sawyer slows down the flow just a little bit, but it's minimal. Um, I think I timed it at uh, I think it was about a liter of water and about. Uh, I don't know, a minute and a half, two minutes, or something like that. So it wasn't wasn't too bad. Again, it works. Uh, it works by itself. Once you uh, once you fill everything up, you're good to go. You can go out and do whatever process would do do other chores and just let this do its work. You don't have to stand there and and uh, pump, uh, which is you know it's up to you. I did it. I don't mind doing the pumping. I just thought I would. Try this. Uh, and the Sawyer adds just a little bit of weight, but it's not too bad. Uh, I'll clean this up later. Anyway, so that's water. That's a uh, cook kit. Um, and that's about it for now. Um, while you're away there before, uh, as I said, I processed some wood back here. Should have plenty, and plenty to get through the evening. Made myself a little chair over there. Um, I 
grab the camera, I'll swing you around, take a look at that. Nothing spectacular, just a couple pieces of wood. Uh, So that's my little chair over there. Nothing fancy, a couple of sticks. And that's it, and got a nice little backrest. It's actually pretty comfortable. I can bring my pillow out and use that for a little bit of cushion. And uh, that's it. Uh, got myself a nice little uh, pond here. Um, Try and give you a view of what I'm at. There's the wood pile. Sorry if I'm panning too quickly, but uh, this is my view. So, nothing spectacular. It's just a little uh, little watering hole here. So, anyway. Let me try and reposition this behind the. You don't get any sun glare here. Gotta get behind a tree. Oh, it looks like maybe that was in frame there. Anyway, camera's a little crooked, so I apologize. Uh, I'll probably be starting my fire in a little while. It's about 10 to 4. Uh, still got plenty of sunlight today, but uh, I'll probably get the fire going, get some coals going. Got a steak for tonight, so I'll probably tune tune back in uh, in just a little while, and I'm gonna uh, clean up here a little bit, and we'll get the uh, get ready to get our fire going and um, start cooking our dinner. Anyway, thanks for joining me.